Hey everyone, Shebem here and welcome back to some more Return to Glory. Today we're starting things off with an away game against Burnley. Uh, we're currently not doing too bad in the league. We are five points away from Liverpool after what was an absolutely terrible start. We're going to go in with this form. I'm not actually going to play this formation. We are going to play this formation, but I think I'm going to take Davis out and we're going to bring in Erzy. Erzy should be given some... Uh, some record for actually progressing as well as he has so far this season. He is one of the players that's going out in loan on. He is one of the players that's going out on loan in January. They got Hulk up front. Wow, Burnley breaking the bank. Right. Let's see how we get on here. We've gone for a pretty aggressive formation. Mainly because Machielli was um, saying he needed to play. So in January, I am considering... I don't know. I don't know. I, I either... In January, I'm going to let Henderson go and bring in a, a backup goalkeeper that's barely ever going to play. Or I'm going to keep Henderson as that player. It just feels a bit harsh on Henderson, really. But then again, he's not moaning to play more games. He's playing a lot more games than he probably should be at this point, considering we just spent that much money on Donnarumma in the summer. That rhymed. That was nice. Donna Rama in the summer, do 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 do. As we're on the counter attack here with Fernandez. Plays it into Rashford, then he loses the ball. I don't know why I've ended up in some weirdo song. Right, let's stop that now. Let's stop that before I get like copyright claim for a fantastic singing by Simply Red or somebody. Right, over the top, that goes out for a goal kick. Yeah, we've done really well to get back into the championship picture after a very poor start. We were like 15th after five games or something like that. So we, we've done so well to get ourselves back up into second. We're still five points away from Liverpool, though. We were seven until they dropped points in the previous video. But we need to continue putting the pressure on. We're not even hit January, so not even halfway through the season. So um, there's still a lot of time to come for us to overtake them and to secure ourselves our second back-to-back -back premiership title, which we should do. I mean, with the squad we have, I mean, all the 90-rated players we have, and even the high-rated 80 players, we should be winning this league quite easily, to be honest. But, um, hmm. One thing I might start doing, though, is I feel like I might take control for good free-kick positions and penalties. Because the penalties are a bit of a mess on this game. So I think for aggressive or attacking penalties, I think I'll take control and for... Free kicks where I think I have an opportunity, I'll take control as well. I don't want to play too much though, because I don't want to skew this. I want to be tested on my managerial ability, not my FIFA ability, which is why we sim these games. I know some people are not too keen on the way that I do things, but... 1-0 oh, down to Birdie Burnley. Uh... Right, okay. 1-0 down, second half begins. We have more possession than them and more shots. Not significantly, though, which is the problem here. I am so disappointed with Sancho as a player on this game. I mean, he's so highly rated. He just never affects a game as Erlen Haaland slams it in. There we go, 1-1. Right. Okay, we're back in this game now, then. Yeah, Sancho, I just I don't think he's ever performed well in a single game for me. Uh, neither's Urz. Well, Urz is playing better than Sancho, though. Here's Rashford. Okay, ball goes out for a throw. Just try to think what changes to make here. We could bring Alfonso Davis on. Go on, Haaland. Oh, Haaland's put it in! Early the Haaland, the god gift, the saviour, puts the ball in the back of the net right, Tellez. I mean, Tellez can actually play left mid, can't you, Tellez? Yeah, you're okay to play there. Okay. Let's also bring Palestri on then in place of Greenwood. And then we'll drop um, him back one position. And then we'll maybe protect Fernandez by bringing on Milinkovic Savic as a cam. There's the triple substitution with half an hour left. Two goals for Erling Haaland. Put us 2-1 up after being 1-0 down. Um, so Palestri gets a bit of game time now. Alex Tellez and Sergei Milinkovic-Savic.
Tellez is another one of those players that is probably not going to get a lot of football moving forward. Because Alfonso Davis has overtaken now, of course, 87 rated as a left back. Oh, it's a bit over the top, isn't it? We just need to hold on now, really. Next 20 minutes, just hold on. Keep this uh, as a clean sheet for the next 20 minutes. And we are sitting pretty and going to get the three points. Especially from 1-0 down is very, very good. Okay. Okay, 10 minutes remain. Good tackle, Sancho. Getting back into his defensive work here. Haaland is on a hat-trick. Will he get a chance to go for it, though, as Rashford plays it across? Lovely. Cuts it into Haaland. Cuts it back, and Haaland does secure the bag. He secures the hat-trick. There we go. Erling Haaland. What a man. What a man. Lovely freaking jubbly. From 1-0 down to 3-1 up. What a fantastic second half this has been. And that should put Haaland to the top of the goal scoring charts on the Premiership as well. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Um, hopefully there were some good results there. But again, it's too difficult to see because they make it go so quickly. So you can't actually have a look at it. Which is always helpful. Right, next up is Everton. Another tricky game. We didn't catch up any points on Liverpool. We're still equal points with uh, Spurs as well. Uh, we've got Chelsea coming up in a few days' time. But we've got Everton first. Let's go back to our strongest lineup then for this game. This is our strongest lineup at the moment, but I feel like Tonali's not far away from knocking Pogba out of this team, is he? Not far away at all. Um, everyone else is pretty much secure in their positions. Jonathan David's fitness has dropped quite low. Okay, let's Jonathan David can come on the bench for this game. Because um, I might try and bring him on just to give him a run around. I feel like Jonathan David's one that we might um, let go in the summer. We're going to have... I don't know. Stri strike wise we're okay. Because we've got lots of players that can play striker. Uh, Rashford, Martial, Greenwood. Um, Haaland, of course, as well. So we do have a lot of players that can play that position. They've got Ansu Fati at Everton. That's a big signing for them, I think. But let's see if we can continue on our good form in this episode. Get ourselves two wins out of two. Before we get into that big game against Chelsea, which is also going to be very important. All right, here we go. Yeah, so Pogba, I think he's going to get overtaken by Tonali pretty soon. And there was quite a few players. I think Camavinga was one as well, wasn't he? Who, um, his potential was not going to be as good as we assumed it was going to be the problem is a lot of the younger players we've got to develop are attacking midfielders not like standard central midfielders which could cause a problem and um, we're filling that position unless we go with an extra cam maybe which is possible I was discussing this in the previous episode one I may be going more narrow and playing Sancho as a cam um, alongside Fernandez behind the lone striker maybe three central cams hmm Three central cams, two CDMs, one lone striker. That could work, actually. As Bruno Fernandes. Oh, Bruno Fernandes. Slams it in the top corner. Yep. Completely aced that song. Right, 1-0 up after 20-odd minutes. Yeah, I'm going to have to try that formation, I think, actually, just as a... An alternative because it seems like wide players, especially in the simming, just don't seem to get a lot of the game. They seem to they get a lot of the ball. They just don't ever seem to do anything with it, and it really does damage their ratings, or uh, well, the in-game ratings. Obviously, not their actual um, their stats because, as we know, Sancho's 92 rated now on this, so he's more than happy. Nice ball over the top, but we managed to clear it out. Good bit of defensive work there by Wamba Saka, who's an 89. Rated right back now. We do have the best two wing backs in the world. Um, Koulibaly is probably going to start to uh, diminish a little bit now as well. Which means we're going to have to depend on the uh, increase of Konate and Mukiele. Mukiele is doing okay. He's up to an 84. 
And I think uh, Konate seems to have slowed down with his progression quite a bit as well. As Rashford now... He's in the box. He needs to do something with it. Tried to squeeze it along to Haaland. There goes the half-time whistle. It's been a pretty even game, to be honest. Same possession. They've had two shots. We've had one shot from one chance. Uh, and we scored that, of course, as well. So it's been pretty even so far. Again, Sancho and Rashford, the two players playing out wide are the ones struggling. Can Rashford play as a cam? That's going to be a question. I don't know if Rashford can play as a cam. He just plays as a left winger, maybe. I don't know. Something I'll have to have a look at. I know Sancho can play as a cam. Right. Let's bring the ball out. Um, yeah, Sancho again, 6.3, having a shocking game. But again, let's try him out a little bit then. Let's um, let's bring well, let's bring Jonathan David on in place of Haaland to allow him that chance to run around. Um, can any of these players play out on the right? I think Martial can play out on the right. So let's um, put Martial out on the right and let's play Sancho as the cam for a bit in this game and see how that goes. Rest Fernandez again. Oh, Haaland was trying to find Milinkovic Savic there. The ball goes out. There's the triple substitution. It wasn't. It's was a double substitution. Okay. Uh, so on comes Anthony Martial and Jonathan David. And straight away, Sancho gets an assist for Milinkovic Savic. So maybe it does bode better to have him more centrally. It's just tricky, isn't it? Tricky trying to find the best way forward. But it is something I've started to do with my Harrogate career mode as well. Is I've, I just noticed that it's always the wider players, the right mids and left mids, that just don't seem to do that well. Central players always seem to play well because they get a lot of the ball and then move it forward quite a bit. Right. Take it off him. Thank you. Lovely. Nice ball coming forward down that left-hand side. Of course, we should have this game one now with 2 nil up anyway. Uh, two wins out of two is going to be very good for us so far. And uh, Of course, the Burnley game was one we probably should have won. The Everton game was a potential banana skin we were going to have to get through. But, of course, the final game of the video is going to be... That's a penalty, isn't it? Okay. We won't come in. We won't jump in for this. We're 2-0 up with two minutes remaining, even if he does score this, which he misses. He hits the crossbar. Even if they did score that, it probably wouldn't have done much for him. So, let's get that ball clear. Let's get that final whistle gone. And let's get ourselves the three points. There we go. Liverpool beat Chelsea 3-0. Okay. Spurs dropped points again. That is good. Is it Spurs we're, we're up against in the... They were. Man City now. Okay. So Chelsea's the big one now. They've just lost to Liverpool and now we take on Chelsea. We're going to stick with the strongest lineup once again. Uh, should we try... I'll tell you what. Let's just, just try it for one game. I mean, this is a risky one, isn't it? It really is a risky one. Let's go team sheets... Let us, um, I can't add the new team sheet because I've already got too many. Okay. Okay, let, let's let's not worry about it yet then. I'll do it for, um, I'll change it around for one of the next videos. I just want to play, uh, we can do it in, we can do it in the, uh, in, in here, can't we? Okay. So let's go in. So I want to play, Rashford, can you play as a cam? Does that? You can play as a left striker. That might actually be a better role for you. So you can play as a centre forward. Or as a right. Let's play you as a right forward. Let's see if that makes a difference. I mean, you get those big annoying exclamation marks on you, but... Might just make you better. I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's have a look and see if this makes... Uh, Sancho more effective. Right, here we go. 
Sancho and Rashford, left forward and right forward. So I want, I just want goals from them, really. I feel like that would be a good way forward. If we just get some goals from these players, from these attacking positions, and get some better ratings. I mean, this is quite an aggressive formation now. Uh, what's happening here? I pressed this already, haven't I? There we go, it hasn't loaded. Okay, right. Let's see how we get on now then. So, as you can see, Rashford actually a lot more central, as is Sancho, which is allowing the wing-back, uh, Alfonso Davis, to get more at the line. We're playing well here, and Haaland gets the goal within the first nine minutes. We lead 1-0. But I'm pretty happy what I've seen so far. I'm just, I'm just keeping an eye on the actual positions of the likes of Sancho and Rashford. See, Rashford there actually dropped into the left-back position to help defend, which is nice. Why Sancho now taking up a second striker role. I mean, I'm quite impressed tactically with the position of the players, even though they have broken us through here. Um, and they've... Oh, no, they haven't scored. Okay. Donnarumma clears the ball out as far as up Meccano. Here's Alfonso Davis. Savage. Back to Davis. Pogba in here. Pogba. Nice little pass. Oh, there was just too many passes. We tried to Arsenal it in the box there, didn't we? Sancho is Fernandez. Sancho. Okay, it's back to Wambasaka. I feel, I do feel more comfortable, uh, comfortable, or confident with this position. But that's two 0 Haaland scored another. Haaland scored five goals. In I know he didn't. He, didn't, he scored those goals against Burnley, didn't he? He scored five goals in three games. I mean, Rashford and Sancho, still not good ratings at the moment. I mean, they're not bad. They're just not in the green yet. But we're only 30 minutes in, so let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. I'm being too harsh on this team, I think, this season so far. Come on, get that ball back. Nope, not like that. Good bit of defensive work once again by Upper Meccano, who's having a great game in defence today. And that's half-time, 2-0. We've had less possession, but we've dominated it in the more aggressive terms of shots and so forth. Come on, let's get that tackle in again. Pogba chasing down. I mean, we've just got to see this game out now. Three wins out of three in this episode will be fantastic. Games against Everton and against Chelsea are two games which is great to get the three points out of. And it does put the pressure on Liverpool. I mean, Liverpool did beat Chelsea 3-0 as well. So they put the pressure on us, really, as we do concede. Werner shows how unrealistic this game is, doesn't it? Werner scored. Come on, lads. Let's keep pushing. Oh, lost it. Ugh. Just need to see this game out, really. So, Rashford's playing okay. Sancho's still a bit quiet. terrified here you know I really am that we're going to concede this second goal I really want to see this one out and get these three points good tackle good tackle Haaland come on counter attack is on here Sancho around the outside he took the shot and it's saved by the keeper okay it's a good bit of time wasting still at least And see this one out. Five minutes remain. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Good defence once again by Upper Meccano, but we're not out the woods yet. The attack is still on for Chelsea. 
Come on, Wan-Bissaka, get that ball. Come on, Fernandez, get in there, my son. 2-1, two, 2 freaking one They had more possession, but we managed to pull it out the bag. There we go. Victory! Whew. All right, so there we are then. That'll be the end of tonight's video. Hope you have enjoyed. Of course, if you have, like, subscribe, that'll be good stuff. We'll be back in a couple of days' time for what looks like the FA Cup game. And also the beginning of the uh, transfer window. That's the word. I can't speak anymore. Uh, I'm going to love you and leave you. Good night. God bless. Alvida saying I'll leave you good stuff. Bye-bye.